Okay, so for a while now, I've been making drill beats influenced by other countries, and it's one of my favorite series I do on the channel. My last one for Indian drill went crazy, so if you haven't seen it yet, definitely check it out. But in today's video, I'm going to be making a Russian influenced drill beat. Recently, my Russian audience has been one of my biggest, so I appreciate everyone watching there. And for the beat, I'm thinking I could start off with a sample to get a vibe going, and then add my own instruments, and hopefully I can make something sick. So let's get straight into it. Okay, so to start with, I just found this Russian sample which I think is going to be perfect. Like just that piano there. I'm thinking just take that first section and I can chop and rearrange it a bit. So let's get rid of that gap at the beginning, bring it back. So I need to take it up to here and then I can just stretch it in time. And I just want these peaks to line up with the bars because I don't think the BPM's right. Either that or just because it's played naturally, it's going to be a bit off. See what I'm saying? Then it goes off again. What I could do is just get it close to about here. And then I'm going to render this so it doesn't have the gap at the beginning. And now I can double click here and open this in Time Warper. And maybe I can stretch it in here. And then just start bringing these back. And I don't think I really need the end parts. So I'm going to bring this back in. See what this is like. See what I'm saying? A bit more on time now. And now I just want to chop it a bit. I'm thinking I could take this part here and just repeat that. So like this. I think I could keep that. I don't want to use this bit though. It starts sounding a bit too sad. So yeah, maybe I could just take it from here and then just blend that bit in a bit more. So let's try bring that back and then this one back. Yeah, I don't think either one's working right. Okay, what I could do is just cut that, make this one unique and then stretch it. I'm only going to be stretching it a bit so it shouldn't mess with it too much. And then just reset the pitch. Yeah, let's try this. There we go. I think that will work. Okay, just to keep things tidy, I'm going to consolidate this track as well. Just so I don't have all those chops. Let's try and double time this. And then we could add some half time as well. Oh, that sounds kind of hard. But not that second part. I could even just loop this section. Forget about that second one. I actually like this. Could even pitch it up a bit. Let's just see. Mm. Yeah, maybe there. Just need to get rid of some of those clicks. Okay, I'm gonna render that one more time. It's this part here. And then yeah, I can just repeat this. Once it's got some reverb on it, you shouldn't really notice it. I'm also going to take out some of the lows. Even some of that noise. Just boost up here. And then we'll add the vinyl one preset this time. About there. Then I'm just going to use fresh air to bring back a bit of high end. All right, cool. So like I said, that's going to be the foundation. I think it sounded sick. And if you want to know where I actually found the sample, I use Tracklip. You would have heard me talk about them many, many times, but it's for a good reason. Because essentially, they're a huge online record store for sampling. But these just aren't loops that other producers have made. These are actual compositions that go way back to the 1920s. And to find my sample, I just went straight to tracks. I typed in Russian in the search bar. I only had to scroll down a little bit and the sample was here. I played it, fell in love with the piano, and then I just tested it with some drums. So I clicked here, went to Trap Essential and then I could just play with the chops that simple and the best part is if you use the sample in a beat and get it placed with a major artist or you want to release it as an instrumental album you can easily clear the sample through the website and you don't have to worry about finding out who owns the master recording or the composition you just check the license here and you can see you can clear it for as little as $50 and to download the sample I just clicked here and it only cost me one credit and if you want 30 days of tracklib completely free plus 15 credits then make sure you click the link in the description because it's double the normal amount so huge shout out to tracklib for sponsoring the video and let's get back into the beat this needs some sort of 
counter melody and it is a Russian influence beat so let's see what instruments we can find. Let's see what they use in Russia. So the Doma is popular, Balalaika, I think that's how you pronounce it. So it looks like there's some stringed instruments or the accordion. We could definitely use something like this. Let's see if we can find one of these. Balalaika. Okay, I think we got one in Ethno World. All right, see, so let's see if we can think of something. Some kind of simple melody. I'm thinking we could chop some notes like this one. So I'm just going to highlight it, hit Alt and U, and then bring this back, and then just roll it up. Let's pitch it down an octave. Something's throwing me off, and I think the piano is like a little bit detuned. So what I'm going to do is just pitch it up like half a cent. I'll set this to stretch, but we'll pitch it up to like, I don't know, plus 30 or something. Even a tiny bit more, like 35. That sounds a bit better. Let's try a different instrument as well. Yeah, I think I prefer this. This Dharma sounds a bit cleaner. All right, to be honest, I'm going off that counter melody a bit. I think it's a bit boring and it's just not sounding Russian yet. I need to figure something out. I wonder if we could use an accordion instead. I found the sick one in Balkan Ethnic Orchestra, so we'll try this. Maybe something like this. Because if we use that D sharp, it's turning into a harmonic scale. And then we could just send that to the same insert. All right, cool. And I want some vocals in there. So I'm going back to track clip to see if I can find a choir. Or maybe this one. Already in E minor too. Fit it to the tempo. One, three, three. Okay, let's bring this back a bit. I'm just making chops and then bringing stuff back. That could work. Something like this could work. We could filter it though. And then add that same kickstart. Let's try a different key though, because I want to pitch the vocals up. We'll try like B minor. Kind of like it there. Brings a bit more energy back. You know what? I kind of like the whole beat like this. I always change my mind, man. I'm not even feeling the accordion now. You always have to try a few things, but if you're not feeling them, just take them out. Sometimes simple's better. Okay, of course we're going to use the Divine Bundle and the Chaos Drum Kit. Okay, we'll grab a counter snare. Yeah, this piece is going to sound crazy. We're switching up the bounce a bit. Yeah, that can be the main bounce. Then we'll add some rolls. Okay, and then we'll just add a few more rolls just for bounce. Yeah, like that. Yeah, maybe that. Yeah, I'm feeling that bounce. Thinking we just use the essential snare. So we'll just copy that over. Or like here. Thinking a different counter snare. I always use that other one. This could work. I like this one as well, but without the rolls. So maybe we could use a bit of both. We'll just use the rolls from the second one, but the main ones from the first. We'll see if it works anyway. Yeah, it's hard. All right, I've just swapped the second one for a hi-hat. I'm thinking we could add some delay to it. We could set that to eight. Just bring the feedback down. Mm. I'm actually getting rid of that hi-hat. I liked it at first. We're using the backward 
slide that G up. Yeah, I think that's better. Simple kick pattern too. And then I think just one more here. All right, sick. Let's get a couple perks in as well. We'll get this in there. Let's add three here and then a couple here. Then bring the velocity down as well. Okay, we'll add this in. These type of fills just save some time because usually I'm adding them in the piano roll anyway. So that's why I made these for the kit. So I like how this one ends. Oh, it sounds cold. All right, it doesn't need much more, but I'm gonna go ahead and split the drums. We'll just copy this over, and then I'll keep the shots here, but get rid of them here. And then keep the perks there. And then here, we just need to switch up the 808 a bit. Okay, there we go. All right, and of course, we're going to add a drum fill to spice it up. Something like that. Pitch it up one. And then I think a rise of two. Let's try pitching that up an octave. Let's try that accordion again. See what I'm saying? It just really doesn't need it. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and arrange this. So let's just copy it over a few times. Get rid of everything here. All right, for the intro, let's use vinyl. I haven't used this in a while because I kind of want to start with the energy. Just so people can get hooked straight away. We could bring in some count snares here. Well, let's swap that around. I think these need to come first. We'll bring this in as well. Yeah, there we go. Can't forget the signature sound. Okay, and then it can come to this section where the 808 gets a bit busier. And then maybe I could make some cuts here. And then, yeah, when it gets to the verse, I can just take out the vocals. And then just bring the kit back in later. I'm actually gonna cut that fill here and then maybe everything where the riser changes and keep the vocals out again. And then I think just keep it as a short verse and we'll bring Isotope back in. I could just copy that over. Okay, so let's have a listen from the beginning. So I wanted to keep that energy and bounce straight away. And then straight into the hook too. Use that drop all the time. So we added these cuts. They're just gonna keep it interesting. Like here. Then coming into the verse. So yeah, really a simple beat. It's only really those two elements, fire and the piano. Transition sound is sick. And then we come back to the bridge.
So yeah, if you're feeling this video and you want to see me merge other countries with drill, click up here. All for similar energetic drill beats, click up here.